If you like Saoirse Ronan, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. I'd forgotten. You'd forgotten? What a thing. I'd forgotten what this town is like. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Byzantium 2012. I am 16 forever. And you'll realize this. And it will hurt your heart. Byzantium is a 2012 British vampire film directed by Neil Jordan and stars Gemma Adderton and Saoirse Ronan. The story follows two mysterious women, Eleanor and Clara, who seek refuge in a rundown coastal resort. Young Eleanor gets to know Frank and starts telling him about their secret lives. They were born 200 years ago and survive on human blood. As knowledge of their vampire being spreads, their past catches up on them and lead them to deathly significance. If you don't believe a word I say, why this pretense? Eleanor, how can you be two centuries old? By, by what miracle of science? Number 9. How I Live Now, 2013. Just because I'm attending doesn't mean I'm participating. There will be no swimming. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. How I Live Now is a 2013 Canadian-British speculative drama film directed by Kevin MacDonald and stars Saoirse Ronan, George McKay, and Tom Holland. Elizabeth Daisy is sent by her father from New York to the countryside of England to stay with her Aunt Penn. Things are going well. But suddenly, a war begins and everything around them collapses. She must learn to face her fears and focus on her goal. On top of this, she is falling hopelessly in love with her handsome cousin, Eddie. I'm a U.S. citizen. We're not going anywhere. I want to speak to the American Embassy right now. Reynolds, at the chain. Get them in the van. Wherever they take you, find a way to get back here. Promise me. Number 8. The Lovely Bones, 2009. That's another thing we have in common. What, what else do we have in common? The Lovely Bones is a 2009 supernatural thriller drama film directed by Peter Jackson and stars Mark Wahlberg, Rachel Weisz, Susan Sarandon, Stanley Tucci, Michael Imperioli, and Saoirse Ronan. In 1973, Susie Salmon is a young teenage girl with the dream of becoming a photographer when she gets brutally murdered by her pedophile serial killing neighbor. As a ghost, Susie watches over her family and must weigh her desire for vengeance against her desire for her family to heal. She saw you, that girl. I think my hand touched hers. Yes, that's all it takes. She carry you now for the rest of her life. You're not supposed to look back, you're supposed to keep going. Number 7. Hannah, 2011. I tried to prepare you for what your life would be. You didn't prepare me for this. Hannah is a 2011 action thriller film directed by Joe Wright and stars Saoirse Ronan, Eric Bana, Tom Hollander, and Kate Blanchett. Hannah is a girl raised in the wilderness of northern Finland by her father, an ex-CIA operative who trains her as an assassin. As she develops more strength, she gets sent by her father on a mission across Europe, but soon gets tracked by a ruthless intelligence agent. Is Hannah destined to die at a young age? Just ask. Anything at all. I want to speak to Marissa Vikla. Tell her I'll be there tonight. I can handle this. Just do what you're told. Number 6. The Way Back, 2010. Can you swim? Yes, mister. You wouldn't lie to me. I'm not lying, comrade. And don't call me comrade. The Way Back is a 2010 survival film directed by Peter Weir and stars Jim Sturgis, Ed Harris, Saoirse Ronan, and Colin Farrell. The film tells the story of three men who escape a Siberian gulag to flee communist Russia. They embark on a treacherous journey across five countries in a desperate race for freedom and survival. Along their journey, they must face mosquitoes, hunger, the desert, thirsty, and they meet the fugitive teenager Irina that joins the group. We have to do this. No killing. No? I think you've killed before. You say too many prayers for an innocent man. Number 5. Brooklyn, 2015. I wish that I could stop feeling that I want to be an Irish girl in Ireland. All I can say is that it will pass. 
Brooklyn is a 2015 romantic historical period drama film directed by John Crowley and star Saoirse Ronan. Domhnall Gleeson, Emery Cohen, Jim Broadbent and Julie Walters. Eilis Lacey, a young Irish woman, immigrates to Brooklyn in the 1950s, leaving her sister and mother behind. Despite her homesickness, she is able to settle down and find a job, while also falling in love with a young Italian man. But her past catches up with her and she must choose between two countries and the lives that exist within. I came to the Irish dance because I really like Irish girls. And I was the only one who would dance with you. Oh no, it wasn't. Th oh, uh, so you danced with loads of others. Number four. The Grand Budapest Hotel, 2014. Zero, I'm a baker. You're a pastry I'm not a chef, middleman. one of the best I'm not in the fence, region. If that's the term, I don't trade in stolen property. The Grand Budapest Hotel is a 2014 American-German comedy drama film written and directed by Wes Anderson and stars an ensemble cast consisting of Ray Fiennes, Tony Revolori, Matthew Amalric, Adrian Brody, Willem Dafoe, Jeff Goldblum, Harvey Keitel, Bill Murray, Edward Norton, and Saoirse Ronan. Set in the fictional war-torn European country Zubrauka in the 1930s, the movie tells the story of a concierge and a lobby boy as they team up to prove the concierge innocence after being framed for murder. I hereby place you under arrest for the murder of Madame Celine Villeneuve de Goffin Taxis. I knew there was something fishy. We never got the cause of death. She's been murdered. And you think I did it. Number three. Ladybird, 2017. I want to go where culture is, but like New York, did I raise such or at snob. least Connecticut or New Hampshire, well, where writers live in the get woods. Get into those schools anyway. Ladybird is a 2017 comedy drama film written and directed by Greta Gerwig and stars Saoirse Ronan, Laurie Metcalf, Tracy Letts, and Lucas Hedges. Christine Ladybird McPherson is a teenager in her final year of high school who wants to leave her hometown Sacramento and go to the East Coast for college but her mother wants to keep her in California close to her home, while being pessimistic about her future. Can Lady Bird find a way to make her dreams come true? I, I like your band, uh, with Jonah Ruiz, L'Enfance New. L'Enfance New. Uh, well, I, I saw your Thanksgiving show. My name's Lady Bird. It's weird you shake hands. Yeah. Number two, Atonement, 2007. Yes, I saw him. Just as you see me. I know it was him. You know it was him? Or you saw him? Atonement is a 2007 romantic war drama film directed by Joe Wright and stars James McAvoy, Kira Knightley, Saoirse Ronan, and Benedict Cumberbatch. The 2007 film is based on Ian McEwan's 2001 novel of the same name. The film tells the story of Brienne Tallis, a 13-year-old girl and future writer and the consequences of her actions after she misinterprets several events and changes the lives of two lovers, her older sister Cecilia and Robbie Turner, the son of a family servant. The movie has a wonderful score and won an Oscar for Best Achievement in Music. If all we have rests on a few moments in a library three and a half years ago, then I'm not sure. Robbie, look. I don't know. If... Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. I beg your pardon, Your Honor. You remember Lena Mayfleet? She wants to accuse you. Accuse me of what? Of stealing food from the people of Ember. We must discuss succession before marriage, not the other way around. We hope we do not vex the Earl. Not in the least, madam. I appreciate your honesty. We see why our cousin is so fond of the Earl. There's something I want to say to you. It's not. What? You know I love you. Still? I want to spend my life with you. And you feel the same. Number one. Little Women, 2019. I scorched my dress, see? There. And Meg told me to keep still so no one would see it. You can laugh if you want to. It's funny, I know. Little Women is a 2019 coming-of-age period drama film written and directed by Greta Gerwig and stars Saoirse Ronan, Emma Watson, Florence Pugh, Eliza Scanlon, Laura Dern, Timothy Chalamet, and Meryl Streep. Joe March, a teacher from New York, 
reflects back and forth on her life. She finds an editor and starts to tell her beloved story of the March sisters, about four young women, each determined to live life on their own terms. They have minds, and they have souls, as well as just hearts, and they've got ambition, and they've got talent, as well as just beauty, and I'm so sick of people saying that, that love is just all a woman is fit for. I'm so sick of it. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.